Are we there? Do we have audio? Tap the mic. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Nan says hi, Ellie. Hello, Nan. No, we're good, Mom. Can you hear us now? We should be able to. See my high tech solution to tech issues. I thought that was rather brilliant. Yes. Okay, so for those of you who are wondering what happened with the sound, yeah, that was a brilliant tech graphic. Who needs a Chiron operator when we have somebody who can <laughs> who can text the old-fashioned okay. way? <laughs> Show them your shirt. Have you hugged your chicken today? Aww. <laughs> Aww. From our friends at... Backyard Poultry! Countryside Dad... Countryside, backyard Uh, Lucy says pretty nails, Tara. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I finally got them growing out long enough to do something with them. Hi, Patricia in South Dakota. Okay, so question as far as the the audio, we had a battery down our microphone and we changed it, and the new one was all good to go. And then just when the show was starting, it failed. Denise, you can go to backyardpoultry.com and email them. I don't know if they're still selling them. They just gave them to us because they just love us. <laughs> because we've been sending them their art articles for years and years. Mom and Dad match today. Oh, matchy, matchy. Aww, that deserves a kiss. You just want more kisses. That's Anything what Jack says. <laughs> okay, and I have, look what I have on. Da -da 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 -da. I got to store. <laughs> Anyone know what Ike Gossie's story is? <laughs> oh. Okay, today. Oh, that brings, that brings oh. a flutter to my heart. Thank you, Amethyst. It brings a flutter to my heart. Dining on a Dime Cookbook. Dun -dun. Page 94. Onion cheese bread. Oh, num num. And... This is what the yummy goodness looks like. <gasps> Ooh. If you already made it, why are you making it again? Well, because it takes an hour to cook, so I thought the show might be over by the time it was done. We're going to taste it ahead of time? So, let's taste it ahead of time and see... So we know if it's worth any of trying to make it? If it's worthy to make or not. <laughs> Except I brush my teeth. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you want to try a bite? That's good stuff. Just like a is it gluten free? <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, so. Drew, take a picture of it. Dining on a Dime Cookbook, page 94. You know, if your All husband right. would get it together, people. Huh? I said if your husband would get it together, people. They keep so, clicking away from the show. We have in here our flour right here. And then I have my sugar and my salt here. I'm sharing the recipe now. There it is. And my dry mustard, which you don't have to put dry mustard. I didn't put dry mustard in the fat last one because that was all I had from this one. Guess I can get rid of that. <laughs> and baking powder. Yes. Yes, Kathy, the house does smell good. <laughs> and just for the record, um, it says three teaspoons, and I have no idea why that, because three, why I did that, because three teaspoons is a tablespoon. So that was just my <laughs> faux pas, I guess. So Nancy said, "Love the Godsy story, friend." I know. It just it brings back memories. I know what I want for my anniversary. What? The Waltons DVD. Oh, you have red lipstick on your lips. Who have you been kissing? <laughs> Who have you been kissing? Well, I think we have evidence of it. Everybody saw me. Um, okay, my favorite, the Waltons. Yes. I want the DVDs for for my anniversary. We should see if they let us Airbnb the house for our anniversary. Well, that's funny. It just sold. It did? And I would have bought it, and they're going to probably do that. Okay, so you whisk your flour, salt, sugar, baking powder, and mustard. You just whisk them together. Super easy. Now the recipe calls for putting all your wet ingredients in a separate bowl and mixing them. 
I don't waste time doing that. I just throw it all in. So I throw in my cheese, my Parmesan cheese, my cheddar cheese, and turn your oven on to bake. 350. Huh? No, just wait. We're going to be eating dinner. No more. Sit down, boy. <laughs> I'm Our kidding. camera operator is. I'm oh, hungry. oops! I Taking skipped a, a step. Oh dear! I skipped a step. Okay, so then you want to take a quarter of a cup of margarine, or butter, or shortening, whatever you want. Butter or or margarine would give more of a flavor. And you want to make it into a coarse meal. You got all kinds of butters here. So, since I already have my cheese in there. I'm just going to break up my. Uh, butter. Butter. Get it all mixed in. Your mom says she's sure onion bread would be her favorite. Yeah, whatever. You <laughs> would you would die of starvation before you would eat onion bread, mother. I know better. <laughs> Denise, the star is feeling good today. I am. Yep. Oh, that's after the Waltons. Man, everybody got it. It was the Waltons. See, it lifts your spirits. <laughs> yes, it does. I always wanted to be the Waltons. 20 years later, I think I failed. You, you, you came up short on kids. And farms. <laughs> and farms. <laughs> okay, so now I got my milk and my egg in here. And my cheddar cheese. Whoa. And. Stupid fly is the camera. Marlene says, look at your cute nails all done up, Purdy. Oh, thank you. I actually got them long enough to paint them. I haven't done any gardening for a month since Ellie and I left, and so they actually grew out. What a concept. Okay, so then you just stir it together. Now, if you want, you can drop these on a baking sheet and just make them into biscuits and cook them for, uh, see should I do them as biscuits or should I do them as a bread since I already made the bread well okay. but you do half half a loaf of bread and half the oh do biscuits do them biscuits I don't care either way is fine okay so if you're gonna do if you're gonna do them as a bread you just take your 9 by 13 pan and grease it and then just Flop it in there and smooth it out and do your um, bread. But since I already made a bread, I think I'm going to do a biscuit. Whoops. <laughs> so this is a drop biscuit, and you just literally just drop them on here. What happened now? <laughs> Denise says, I love onions. Your mom says, I hate onions. <laughs> uh, Patty, there is chat on YouTube right now. It seems to be working. Okay, and I did this wrong. Usually I do... Oh, boy. Well, this is a very interesting show today. <laughs> Let's put it in a bread pan. Be done with um, it. Um, okay. There. Oh, come on. you got to be kidding me. Now, these taste like the red lobster biscuits. Or, yeah, biscuits. They're not muffins. They're biscuits there, I think. I've never eaten a red lobster. That's all I've heard. But everyone who tells me says, oh, they just love it. They do taste like that. The, a number of people are saying, that's not a 9 by 13 pan. Somebody was asking a 9 by 13 or a loaf pan. A loaf pan. Where are the onions, Joyce wants to know. Well, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Just be patient. Just be patient. Okay, so now for the bread, you... um. Just sprinkle the paprika on top and then sprinkle your onions on top. Now you can use fresh onions, but today I am using my Thrive Onions. Yes, you heard that announcement. I'm giving it a go. So I'm putting in my onions. And then I'm going to add my water. Get them re going back up here. And 
Okay, so I'm gonna let those rehydrate. Now, I will tell you about this in just a minute, but I have a new love affair, and I'll Ooh. tell you why. We have a couple people asking, what is it you're making today? They said they didn't get so, to see it. So, the recipe is for dining on a dime right there. Onion cheese bread on page 94, onion cheese bread. And, I will and this share is the, it right here. And the link to the recipe is in the description. But because I already made a loaf to show you guys what it looks like, I'm making these into biscuits to give to the neighbors. It'll be a little bit easier to give it to the neighbors. And it's really hot, so we don't have to have the oven on for so long today. Okay. So just sprinkle, what is wrong? My paprika, there, okay. Oh, you put paprika on them? So then you just sprinkle your paprika on and you could, if it's the loaf, just sprinkle it on the loaf. Oh, come on, what is the deal? <laughs> okay, I don't know what's happening with my paprika, I just use it, so just sprinkle it on. Lisa Scottish says, I love red lobster cheese biscuits, but my backside gut nibs do not. Yeah, pretty much that's what everybody thinks. I have to agree. <laughs> Just eat one or two. You don't have to eat the whole platter, which ah, is tempting. Okay, and so then you take your onions. Now, these are the Thrive freeze-dried onions. And I have to say, guys... I really, really like them. Um, you don't have to worry about chopping a bunch of onions. You just rehydrate and use them. And I'm super excited. Hydrate, you mean, like, put water on them? You yep, them. you just put a little bit of water. Oh, see, we need a road trip for you to go see Lisa's cottage. Where's she at? She said we, I don't know, but she said we own the Waltons DVDs and watch them over and over and over. <gasps> oh, we could have a Waltons marathon with them. <laughs> Man, those DVDs are expensive. They did good on their contracts when they did them. So is this similar to my garlic cheese biscuits? Yes, it's very similar, actually. Oh. Except this has onion in it. <laughs> it's basically the same recipe, but this has onion in it. Okay. Now, personally, I like doing the bread better because it's just so much quicker. You just dump it in there and dump it in. But we're going to be giving these to the neighbors because we're not going to be able to eat all of these. All right. So there you go. Stick it in the oven. You can go in. Voila! Now, <laughs> we're going to let those cook for a few minutes. Oh, Lindsay had no faith. She said she was waiting for the paprika to explode out of the container and go everywhere. Well, that's what I was expecting it to do, actually. But to her defense, that's not an uncommon occurrence. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks a lot. He tells the truth. Okay, so those will be done in just a minute. Um, now, we are testing out, so Ellie's here, and we are going to test out the Thrive Cookies. And I'll tell you why. So, we were given, <laughs> we were given these as a test. And this one. So I got, I got the peaches. You may want to tell them what it is. And they are freeze-dried peaches. <clears throat> now, I got the peaches, and the first day, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Mm. Before, I before anybody Man. got home. Are they totally gone? I ate them all. You ate them all. I ate them all. Them all. These were so good. And the thing is, is I need snacks that are, don't have added sugar and that are easy. And quite frankly, the fruits and vegetables in Colorado are not that great. They come from far enough away that you can only get peaches in July that taste decent. These were super yummy. So we were thinking, oh, do we do it? And I thought, well, I just tried the peaches. You know, those are really good. Well, then Ellie and I went on our trip. Okay, come here, Ellie. So Ellie and I went on our trip and we got the freeze-dried pomegranate yogurt bites and we got the blueberry, the, just the freeze-dried blueberries. Mm. So <laughs> this thing was full. <laughs> she ate the whole can 
one in two days. Well, I didn't hear about those peaches. Man. <laughs> <laughs> the blueberries. <laughs> she had the other look. Half of the look. look. Okay, okay. Get <laughs> delicious. I'm sorry. Man. So, so when we got home. Out, you need them? Yeah. So when we got home, there was about this much left. And now we have this much left. And I'm like, you guys, you cannot keep eating them because I have to show everybody. But there's the blueberries. Oh, they're like, it feels like the consistency of popcorn. Yeah. That's like kind of And delicious. here's the pomegranate bites. Oh, okay. those are the best ones. It's like really good. <laughs> it's got, yeah. They What's funny is they look like little cereal bites. They're super yummy. But that's they the deal. They do taste really good. Oh, man. Marlene wants to know if you your can... teeth turn blue, Ellie. Yes, her mouth did. Yeah. We have some questions about it already. So, okay, just one second, let me finish. So I will tell you, okay. this is what convinced me, guys. This is an excellent product. Whoa. Now I've had a little bit of criticism already and I haven't even started selling it, but I am buying this for convenience and taste. It is super yummy. And like my Irish stew that I have going back here that I'm working on, I'm gonna just throw in my celery. Wait, I want to see this. So here's my celery. I haven't opened it yet. I didn't realize blueberries were so sour. Sheriff says you from Two Family yeah. Homestead says Ellie, you need to try the fruit parfait snackers. Uh oh. So here's the celery, and here's the onions. Now the celery is the one thing that I love, but I always let it rot because I don't always use it all. Looks like celery. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some in while we're on the show. This is my Irish stew I started because I gotta start eating better. Ooh, <laughs> Irish stew. And I am not feeling well at all. And I need something easy to fix. Um, so let's give it a go here and we'll see what it ends up being being like, okay? So I just wanted, to, I've never done this before with the celery or the onions. So we'll see how this goes. Oops, I but forgot. she did some chicken the other day and I thought, it's chicken. It actually tasted really good, didn't it? Okay. Just wants to know how much I was. So I would have to go look it up on the website. Michael put the link for you. They do have sales all the time. Um, Oops. And it varies depending on what thing you get. But as you can see right here. Now the other thing is BJ and Ellie have been making smoothies. And this would be really good. You can use the powder on the bottom for your smoothies. You can use these in smoothies. You can put in oatmeal. You can put in your cereal. There's infinite uses for this. That's exactly why I really liked it. And I know, I honestly though, my opinion, I do not think this is, this is not a money saving thing. This is a convenience thing. Where I am at, I could actually save money by buying fresh and cutting it up. But I've never seen her this excited. I know. About so but like the other day, we threw away a half a package of mushrooms. Sorry, I thought I was gonna eat them. See, come over here. Let's do these cookies and see what they think. See? See, she thought she was going to eat them, and every week I throw away a half a package of mushrooms. I'm trying to be better. I'm sorry. So, that's why I like it. Okay, so let's give the chocolate cookies a go here uh, and I'll try it and see. Monica, it's Thrive, and uh, I, put a, I put a link to it in the description if you want to go check it out there. Oh, that's like flour, isn't it? I think it's yeah. just the... Like, now, here's things. the thing. Yeah. I think it would be great. This would be a great Christmas present for Grandma and Grandpa. And, like, my mom, you could get one serving of onions out, and you don't have to have a yeah, whole thing... Yeah, but with thing your mom, of... you'd have to blend it up and put some chocolate in it and not know it's onions. <laughs> well, okay. Mom wouldn't do good with the onions, but she'd do good with the celery, you know, or the peaches or the apples or those kinds of things. So... You know, yeah. Amy said Brad fed you until you fell in love, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Well, Brad, she... they sent us home with like four different cans of stuff. And we just like, devoured oh. it all. We really did. We devoured it. We 
are like, a, okay, so read the instructions. So this, okay. okay, so first of all, this is the classic cookie dough mix. With a shelf life of three years. <laughs> <laughs> three years? And yeah. here are the nutrition facts. Well, actually, that's, <laughs> if you bought a cookie mix at the store, it would be three years, right? Yeah, well, that probably no would. <laughs> but for these, these are 25 years. So these go for 25 years on the shelf, or once you open them, it's a year opened. So even if you got the big one, you know. So you can have it for an emergency food supply. Yeah. So once it does a big, huge explosion or something. Huh? Yeah. Like, like Irma or something. So if there's a hurricane or something, you would have food and not have to be rushing to the store. All right, here we go. So Let's try it. Whip one cup of butter in mixer until light. Okay. Add contents of cam. And then some other stuff. Okay. Uh, I told Zara, I always hate promoting things like that, or at yeah. least it seemed like that. And she's like, but you gotta try it. And I'm like, okay. So I was like, oh man, that's good. <laughs> but I thought, well, we gotta try a lot of things before we tell anybody about it because we don't so wanna. So we've been trying food for like a week and a half. We don't like now to recommend and... things that okay. end up not Our being just yeah. really great. So, oh. Hi, go. Aiko. Yeah, I really, guys, I try to be very cautious on the things that I recommend and the things that I use because I don't want to lead you astray. I don't want to recommend something and then, you know, something strange happens. So. But the fruit ones, I would never reconstitute them. I put them in a Ziploc yeah. bag and take them to work. I know. Okay, <laughs> whip it up. Let's give it a try. <laughs> Absorber. Oh, we okay. can have a little oxygen. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Each one comes with one of those. Yes. Now, here's the thing. I love dehydrated foods, and Mom and I have always been big. Mom especially Ooh, has been really good. big into dehydrated foods. But the freeze-dried, I like the consistency better of the freeze-dried. You don't have to try and chew like you do with apples quite so hard. Um, two and a half tablespoons of water. Okay, and then what? One and a half cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips. And mix until the dough firms. Okay, can you hand me the chocolate That's chips, it? Dave? That's it, I know. That but how does that Nope, no, work? another one. Huh? I don't know. Like We've gonna... never made these, Wait, where's so. Where's the recipe? Is That's there, it. Is the recipe on the package? Uh -huh. I didn't pay attention. Yeah, it's on the box. Right here. <gasps> Yum. Oh. Are those reconstituted chocolate chips? <laughs> no, but these are just regular chocolate chips. Okay, so here we go. You mix all the pan. It just looks like way too wet or too dry. I think we needed to mix it before we put the chocolate chips in. Wait, it didn't say that, did it? Oh, wait, no, it's coming together. Here, I'll do it this way so you guys can see. So, Ellie, Danny said they say the yogurt bite tastes like Lucky Charms and marshmallows. Is that yeah, your experience? Yeah, they do. Well, not they as They were sweet. better than that to me. I think they were better. I don't eat those. I don't they like They were more those. fruity and less sugary tasting. Yeah. That's, that's an uncommon opinion, but I don't actually eat the marshmallows and Lucky Charms. No, I do. I'm the opposite person. I eat the, the crunchy bits. Oh, hey. Okay, sorry, that's see. awesome, girl. You and Mom would do great together then, because Mom likes to eat all marshmallows. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Mike, I eat all the marshmallows and then he comes to eat them and they're gone. So, Joanne was wondering, is everything freeze dried? Yes. Mmm, it tastes good. Is it? Mmm. Okay. I love cookies. Yeah. So excited. Oops. Look at it, it's so beautiful. That's a cookie mix? Chocolate chip cookies? Mm hmm. Oh, yum. Okay, let's see. Oh man, it's not gluten free though, so you guys can't eat it. All oh, the things. Oh, I can. I but can they do out. have gluten free products actually, and I'm gonna order some <laughs> and try them, and see. Okay, so Lord it looks like what you're making. we're making chocolate chip cookies using the Thrive chocolate chip cookie 
mix because I wanted to try this and Ellie and I are trying it live. We've never made wow. this before. Okay, so it looks like you need to finish mixing it with your hands, but that is enough water. That's impressive. It okay. looks super dry. Start rolling little balls. Oh my. Wait, can I eat one? You can eat one. Oh wait. One. Hey David, can, can, can you show can you Ellie one? eating one? Hold on. Okay, you're good. I already did it. Too late. What? You did it without the viewers. Okay, eat it. Show them you, you eating it. Tina's asking, is this recipe in your cookbook? The... the onion bread is, the onion cheese bread is, these cookies are not. So I'm sharing the onion cheese bread recipe that we made and it's in the oven, is that right? Yep, and Mike will give you the link to where we got the chocolate chip cookie dough from. Oh, well I shared it a minute ago. Okay, Oops, that's that's good. okay roll the rest. Okay, so now we're gonna throw these in the ovens and hopefully eat them before Ellie has to leave. How long do they have to cook? I don't know. How long do they have to cook? Oh man, did I throw it away? Wait, where did you Oh, go? I did throw it away. It's in there. Okay, so I'm gonna roll up the rest of these so they'll be done. I can wash my hands. 350 for eight to nine minutes. All right, can you set the timer? So this will be interesting to see if they work at high altitude too, because sometimes at high altitude we have problems. Ooh, the true test. Yeah, this will be a true test. And we're doing this live. I've never done this before. So we'll see. But... Don't judge me, okay? <laughs> I was deprived of my school years because all the schools told us we were gonna get salmonella poisoning. <laughs> and since and when I was like, it's not worth it, man. My whole life. Since when have you I listened to the schools? I can't live this way. Why would you listen to the schools? I don't know. Colleen <laughs> says, Tara, blue is your color. It looks very pretty on oh, you. Oh, thank you. It makes her eyes come out a lot more, too. Well, thank you. Yeah, so I was thinking this would be better for like, my grandparents are 90, and grandma hates cooking. Oh. And I thought, you know, I think I might get them some of this for Christmas because they could just make one or two servings. And grandpa could use the yogurt bites, and he has, he makes smoothies because he's not getting enough calories. And you could get different flavors, like you could use the blueberry, the raspberry, and have different flavors and not have the same thing all the time. I heard there was a vanilla one. Is there a vanilla one? Yeah. We should try it. That Isabel said she bought from a big family and she loves everything that she's bought. Do you mm -hmm. see? It's it's really a good product, guys. I mean, I, I'm i not going to sit there and tell you it's going to save money because quite frankly for me, I probably would be able to save more just buying it, even throwing it away. But I have not been feeling good and I have to get something... No, we have we've been living off of cereal and pizza and sausages cereal. <laughs> and cereal and so i've got to get something that is easier for me to do because i just can't keep doing this my poor family is starving so all right we're gonna give it a try oh <laughs> So should we summarize so far? Okay, so hold on. Let me throw the rest of my onions in here and see how my Irish stew is a lot going on today. Colleen says, I gave my cookbook away to my daughter-in-law. She was drooling over it. <laughs> You're dining on a dime? At least you willingly gave it to her. We hear a lot of stories about people that borrow it. And yeah, it never they never get it back. back again. Oh! Hi. Hi, just me. It's great to have you here. Oh! salt because I didn't salt it. Ooh is usually an expression of dissatisfaction. Yum! Okay, there you go. Is that better? Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Okay, I think I could probably cook just a minute more, but so this is going to be my Irish stew for me, my lunches for the next week, hopefully. I've been feeling so sick that I'm just nauseated at everything. It what just makes it? me want to so gag. So when you say Irish stew, what is that? It's not like lamb and stuff. It's just vegetables. Oh man, Don't that's you? good. I thought there were different so, kinds of meat. So yes. this is Probably. lamb, potatoes, carrots, onions, celery, Worcestershire. Oh, I forgot the bay leaf. Oh, yum. You want to try a bite? Sure. But hold on, it's hot. I don't want to burn your mouth. Because then you won't be able to kiss me. Oh. Ew. Hey, that sounds oh, delish. Man. 
PG channel. <laughs> Man. Okay. This is PG channel, but you're making what? it rated R. I guess it's mm. okay. That's good. So what stuff that what stuff out of that came from the thrive? So for this one, I only did the onions and the celery for that one, just because I wanted to try it as a soup. But your mom's saying how you love the thrive chicken. Okay, so here's the thing. I looked at it before Tyra made it, and I said, "That looks like styrofoam." <laughs> Here, where is? And I was it? hesitant to try it, and then after she made it, I thought, "Man, this is good." So the only reason I said okay is because. As many things as she pushed on me, <laughs> I ended up liking them all. So see, the chicken does look so. kind of weird when it's in the can. Yeah, it looks like it looks like tofu. It does. It looks like tofu. It doesn't smell like anything. But it's already pre-cooked, and you just rehydrate it. What's it taste like dried? <laughs> I don't know if I need the chicken dried. Although I guess well, the astronauts do, don't they? <laughs> okay. So I wouldn't eat it dry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it tastes like chicken. It's I just don't have enough. Keeping it real here, folks. I don't have enough spit to keep it. But the problem is, it's only chicken, and that's actually a good thing. The problem is when you eat it like this for the chicken, there's no salt in it to give it flavor, because the world needs more salt, people. <laughs> so is this yeah, half a yeah, cup? Yeah. 110 calories, half that's a cup, mm -hmm. dehydrated? Oh, yeah. yeah. And the same with the fruits? Yeah. Man, that's not very many. Well, no, the fruits, the peaches were only 10, 10 calories. Wow. Per half cup. That's why I ate the whole container in one day. Because well, it was, was like 100 say calories. That lady from the health place is saying they need to eat more fruit. See, this was. But a, oh, a quarter of a cup is 10 calories. Are your muffins? And I have no idea. I totally forgot about them. Tommy wants to know how many packages of celery are there in a container? Is it cost effective? So. And it seems, she says, seems so many on YouTube are on the Thrive bandwagon. Well, and they <laughs> no, are. I know why. But... Oops. Oops, just a minute more. I'll tell you why they're on the Thrive bandwagon. And I, I'll tell you, it took six months for them to convince me to do this. Because I am so skeptical. skeptical. I really am. And we were like, we don't want to do another, you know multi-level co marketing company and all that kind of stuff but guys, and we're not gonna do this in a multi-level way either we don't want to well i mean if people want to sign up that's fine but but we're not gonna spend a lot we're of not time gonna push you trying to recruit people. but the food is really really good it really is good and there's a reason why so many people are using it because it's convenient and it's good so samantha says try the macaroon cookies yum and diana says i recently saw someone do a thrive cauliflower pizza crust oh Looked yum great. And see, the thing is, guys, like with the celery, I'll buy a whole thing of celery and I'll throw three quarters of it away. Or the um, mushrooms. Hi. Come over here. Let's discuss Look, the mushrooms. I'm sorry, man. Come they over got, here. No, no. They just got shoved in the back of the fridge and I couldn't find them. Okay. And let's discuss the strawberries. What about those? Three packages of throttled strawberries they threw away the other day because they got pushed in the back of the what? fridge. Okay, no. No, they were happen? rotting. They were rotting. Where did yeah, they, they were they rotting. From? Because Ellie ate uh, a whole package. BJ, BJ got them. The BJ day. got them and they got pushed back in the back of the fridge. Uh, Lindsay wants to know, can you top the bread with caramelized onions? Oh yeah, you could caramelize them. Oh, that would be really good. Hmm. Yum. Okay, so let's see. Gabby's mom is asking, have you done a price breakdown? I'm single, but living on a dime, truly. So here's the price breakdown. It would, honestly, it is not cheaper for me. And it may, you would probably have to, um, it, I, I don't find that it's cheap. I find it's cheaper to buy the fresh fruits and vegetables, but you're not throwing away a product and you can do single serving. So if you're going out to eat, this would be way cheaper. And we have a lot of people who well, do even that. if you're eating fast food, this would be cheaper. Yeah, it would. I mean, it would be way cheaper. Oh, yum. Denise said, Ellie just looked like Jack with that expression. I'm not sure which expression. But... Look at those, yummy. Let me see. Oh, yum. That looks delish. Um, you should put some garlic in it. So, here's my thing. It's almost done. 
<laughs> yes, Susan. Uh, yeah. Tar made biscuits out of the bread because she made she made a loaf earlier because it was gonna take too long to cook. So here's my loaf. So the uh, batch that she made on the show, she decided to what make into biscuits because she's gonna give it to the neighbors what so we these? don't eat too much of it. Hmm? Nice. I just shared the link again to the recipe for the um, the onion cheese uh, bread. Okay, so let's get the. Full bread out here. So Patty Jean says, as a prepper sort of person, I've wondered about Thrive Life. So, oh no. Does Oops. it last a really long time? If you're 25 going to be years. Wow. Yeah, 25 years. So here's the thing. Um, I tore off the side here because I didn't get it. Did, do, did you buy that? Because Kathy is wondering how much was the can of cookie dough? Uh, the cookie dough came in a free, in a, not a free, but in my sampler thing that I got. So I don't know how much it is. You can go look it up. And honestly, I probably wouldn't buy things like the cookie dough. I would spend my money. Now, this is just us. And the you can fruits, go look and see. Because we waste so much fruit. The fruits and the vegetables. That's where we would get our money. Because we for. buy it fresh yeah. and then we forget about it in the fridge until we have to throw it away. Yeah. <laughs> and so I would buy things like the peaches and the mangoes and the yogurt bites, the snacky things. But here's the thing, guys. Even if you just got some for prepping, like with the hurricanes, stop relying on the government. These are super lightweight. You could take them with you. You could make up meal packets in little plastic bags, and all you would have to do is add water so you could add your sausage and your carrots and your celery and your chicken broth and your peas and your um parsley you could put it all in a bag and then just add your water for an emergency situation and like here we had floods you know can so, reconstitute itself <laughs> yeah, but it's good i'm just joking i know your mom says it'd be a great christmas gift for grandparents or singles yeah. Or anyone for that matter, she says. <laughs> Wait, so did you make the, so you're not baking the cookies? Yeah, yet? they're right there. Ooh, I'm just letting them done. I'm trying to get them finished here. Uh, so here's a question while we're waiting for the cookies to finish, guys. Uh, so. Jill, have we missed some of the questions? Uh, Karen, the Thrive stuff is not in the cookbook. She's making cookies from a recipe that was on the back of the can, but the onion cheese bread that we made today is in the cookbook and I will share a link to the onion cheese bread recipe on our website. Uh, what page is it in the cookbook? It's, it's on page 94. It's on page 94 if you have the book as well. Okay so I guys I got a yes, question I here do. while we're waiting for it to finish. Can you see my ba my barbecue sauce? Look at that. Wait, now watch. Wait, wait, wait. Here have it come down Dave. I think that, hold up. Wait, wait, hold up. Uh oh, is there something going wrong on YouTube or are we just missing something? Because your mom said we're missing questions over there. Uh... So look at my barbecue sauce. I don't know what happened. Look at this. Oh, actually. What happened? It's one. separated. It's did, like, oops. Did it freeze or something? Oh, oh, hold on. I thought you had to leave at 515. You got to sample it. You got to try the cookies on the air. You're the one who made it. Dear. But look at it like... I'm pretty sure you mixed two of them. I don't think it was this one. It's like clumpy. Dear, uh, yeah. Amy T says the meat is all cooked so you can eat it cold in a pinch. I didn't think about that. Yeah, it is. So like in an emergency. Yeah, and you hmm. could just add really hot water Wait. if you wanted it to be warm, but. Hmm. Can you get the meat and put like a tiny bit of salt on top of it? Then... Yeah, we'll go get a bowl and I'll... Yeah, Kathy says the trick with fresh support. strawberries is to wash them, cut them up, and put them in Ziploc bags in the freezer. Yeah, we, we finally got yeah. BJ to put them in... Well, he was putting oh, them in the freezer before he sliced them, so that was a catastrophe for him. It actually does look like styrofoam, though. It's good. But I when mean, you reconstitute it, it looks really good. I mean, it's good. It's nothing. Okay, let's yeah. see. Sure, Mom. Aww. Oh, they're no, still not done yet. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, Backwoods Race calls us, no calls, called us lovely people. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hey there. Sorry. Sorry. There was 
a window in my glass tea kettle back there, not to mention all of my gnomes. Oh, I think there was a typo there, but Amy said to take the these yes. do not eat packets out because she said it makes it look weird. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Boop. <laughs> These are just oxygen absorbers to keep them fresh. It's nothing. But the good thing is uh, they're all one ingredient, and that's what I like because I can't eat MSG. I can't eat, um, what's uh, that stuff in milk called? Oh, I found some questions here. No, it's um, carrageenan. I can't eat those kinds of things. They make me really sick. So that was Oh, is that, that stuff really not liked. in here? That's why Brad likes it. Yeah. Hi, because I know they, they're, they're more particular about health, some of yeah. that stuff that we don't necessarily. Uh, Lindsay is asking, is the celery crisp after you reconstitute it? She says, I'd like to put it in chicken salad. I don't, I haven't tried it in chicken salad, but I know that one of the recipes that they do all the time is chicken salad. So maybe I'll make chicken salad next time. <laughs> Share from I'll two do family. That. I'll do that Wednesday. She was saying, oh, you fed him off your spoon. <laughs> yes, we're married, so uh. that's probably okay. <laughs> Ooh, Lindsay says, get an instant hot water dispenser. The yeah. best. Well, and that's what I have my, my tea kettle over there. Um, I'm just, I don't know, I can just see all kinds of easy lunches for me and stuff like that when I'm at home or like in the evening when I'm not feeling good. I could make this up really quick. Do they quick. have dehydrated cheese? Yes, they do. What? I can make nachos? You can make nachos whenever you want. Or I could use it as like powder on my popcorn? Yeah. You can do it whenever you want. Come on, tell them to send us some cheese. So, okay, so I'm just curious because somebody was asking me if we ever eat organic because Just Me said I had a health issue and after changing the way I eat food, I've gotten rid of it. So I was wondering for people that really like the organic and stuff, is this that? This isn't, um, not all, I think they have some organic products, but not all of it is organic, no. But when Brad and them do it, do they only get the organic stuff? No, huh? Oh, I thought they were really super into that. Well, they're into it, but not, I don't think a ton. Like, oh dear. Okay, so let's see. If these get done. Uh, Linda wants to know, does Thrive sell freeze-dried meals? Yes, they do. Um, they are a little bit on the higher side, but once again, it's still cheaper than going out to eat. But, um, oh. Okay, so these are taking longer to cook, and I'm wondering if it's because we're at high altitude. I think we opened those up in like 500 million times. Well, Probably. <laughs> okay, just go. So, Jamie, are you asking You can us? taste it when you get home. Jamie says big containers you have and small containers. What size are they? So. Oh, these. I the see. The big ones are the number 10, and these are called the pantry. So, um... These are the pantry size. Who knows? Who knows? Says you, you look like you're feeling well so far today. Oh well, thank you, because I was in bed before the show started. <laughs> it's amazing what makeup and an alcohol zero will do. <laughs> uh, Jonelle asks, how many of your kids still live at home? Four, Four still live at home. One's at college. And will be coming home this weekend. She'll be coming home this weekend to visit. Yay! Uh, let's see. Sorry, <laughs> I saw a typo that kind of confused me. Uh, let's see. Uh, I was trying to make sure I didn't miss any of the comments on YouTube because it's a lot of people were asking. Danny's cheese is like powder for popcorn. It would be just like shredded cheese. Really? Yeah. When you reconstitute it, it's yeah. just like shredded cheese? So that stuff you made, the fruit stuff that you had me try the other day, what was that? Because it, its consistency so, was a little strange. A blackberry, the blackberry no, cobbler? No, that pink stuff. Oh, so we recon so we have some cherry yogurt. And that was the, but I didn't make it correct. So I was gonna try it again. So we made cherry yogurt and I didn't add enough water so it was kind of, it wasn't yogurty consistency, it was more gluey consistency, but man, it tasted just like Greek cherry yogurt. It was really good. So I was gonna try that again because I don't think I put enough water in it. Um, you are too are gifted and using your gifts and talents for divine purpose. Thank you, Bumblebee. Well, thank you. <gasps> Bandana's home! Poor Bandana. She had a flat tire today. Aww. Got stuck in New Jersey. In New Jersey? Yes. Oh, I forgot. New Jersey and Maryland aren't that far apart. No. Okay. As a matter of fact, we drove through Maryland to get to New Jersey on our trip. Uh, ben, uh, she also says thank you for the card, and my husband said he loved the man soap you gave him. I'm so glad he liked it. Yay. Who knows wants to know, how's the house hunting? Well... We're looking. We're trying to decide if we want to live in Wisconsin or not. 
Everybody keeps telling us the weather is just horrible. So maybe we'll wait till next year and see how big family does the first year. I told her Ireland only has like a 30 degree window the entire year. <laughs> yes, but although you the can't drive in the, Ireland. Yeah, you can. Are you kidding? They have a lot less accidents than They're here. They're trying to blow you up over there. Not in Ireland. Not in well, Ireland. That's in England. In England, they're closer. Mom. Yeah, but... They're not going to go to Ireland. Ireland is too happy and peppy. They're going to scare them away. Do you want to move to Ireland? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Can you carry guns in Ireland? No. Probably not. <laughs> that is something I hadn't thought about. Well, Alice you're probably would, good in the country. I, I would know. kill to be able to live in Ireland. Carol well, said... Well, not really. Just, just a second. Allison? <laughs> Allison, the cookbook is twenty one ninety five plus shipping. Uh, I can share a link for that too. Yeah. Carol says if the barbecue sauce isn't brown, it should be fine. If it doesn't taste rancid, I think it just got mixed in a weird way. Well, it's like it got frozen or something. Allison, I'm sharing the links to the where you can get the cookbook right here. I'm wondering if it got frozen or it's like it's lumpy. Look at that. Isn't that weird? But it tastes fine. Joanne says the cookies look yummy but need more chocolate. And I, I'm not sure if it was you, Joanne, but somebody earlier had said if it says one and a half cups, I put two. I'm totally with you. I always oh, lean upward on oh, chocolate. Oh, my foot. Oh, my foot. What? Your foot? Cramping my foot. Ow, do you need to rub it? Don't okay. Stop. Oh, have mercy. Uh, your, your mom says celery is not crunchy. I wonder, did she try it? She surely didn't put celery in her mouth. How would she know? I don't know. Your mom doesn't need anything like that. Um, I'll make the chicken salad on Wednesday and let's see how that does. But I have to tell you, this is pretty tasty. Uh, Denise, if you're not getting comments on the Facebook side, what I do when that happens is I click the little X and close out the window, and then I refresh, and then I open it again, and it's back. Because I know if, when I look at it, sometimes they suddenly stop. At new, no more new comments show up. Hmm. The date, oh. Teresa. I can't find a date. Oh, here it is. September. Oh, September eleventh, seventeen. Maybe got old. Well, that's only. That's two only days two ago. days. Yeah. Careful, Jack. That baking pan's hot. You didn't bring yourself, did you? No. Mm. Where are the cookies done? Oh, good. Jack's, are Jack the smelled done? the cookies from the other room. <laughs> are the cookies done? You just had a ton of. Okay, hold on just a minute. They're, they're super oh, hot. Oh, sorry, so that's Denise. Cool. That usually works for me. Um, okay, well, let it cool. It's not oh, Lori says, love to you all. Jack is so cute. <laughs> Lori says, Jack is so cute. I pretty much live alone and you're my social time. And Jill Say else? Hi, Lori. Jill, oh, and Jill also. Yes. Tell Lori hi. <laughs> Thank you, Lori. She doesn't have any kids at home and you're her, you're her best bud at home. <clears throat> Tell her hi. Say hi, hi. and wink. <laughs> Say hi. Wink. You have to say, hey -ya. Okay, just a second. Angela says the peaches and strawberries sound oh so good. And Angela says I love dried apricots. Now some of them will be a little bit on the tart side. So like I found the strawberries a little on the tart side. But that's because they have no sugar or anything in them. And we always put sugar on our strawberries. So, <laughs> But I think in a smoothie... Or like for strawberry shortcake or whatever. Debbie asked, do they give you nutritional value for people on Weight Watchers? Try it first, because it's super hot. Um, I don't see any points or anything listed, but they have calories in. Like, this is the this is the label on this one, the chicken. So it gives you the normal stuff that they ask, but I don't think, it doesn't have anything that looks like it's customized to Weight Watchers. But it should be, I assume there's hot. some way you can calculate things if you look at the label and see. Like how much protein okay? and carbohydrate mm -hmm. and fat and stuff. Whoa. Oh, obviously no carbs in chicken. I'm like, there's no carbs in this. <laughs> there's chicken. <laughs> oh, yum. Yeah. That's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, wait a minute. Go back to the comments. So here's the thing, Ramona. Yes. I was looking at MREs, to, which are military rations. It's, what's, it's what the guys take. Um, in the military to eat and they just add water because I'm a semi prepper because I have lived through tornadoes power outage. We had a power ice outage. Ice storms. Two yeah, ice storms. Two ice storms one in of one them time. Two weeks. Up three weeks. Oh, three weeks. Three weeks. One was two and one was three. And we always had 
something happening and here it's blizzard one time they had a blizzard about 10 years ago where it was so bad they could not get out and they were stuck and i mean stuck and so that's why i want these things you know for the convenience and the prepping kind of a you know side of it but I have to say, I have a lot of friends in the military, and I've heard about stories about MREs, and this must it's not this, this good. must be amazingly better than MREs. Yeah. Because they they say MREs are awful, and they don't Only want to ever try them. But here. like the, I the chicken tar reconstituted in something, but the all the fruit ones we had, well except for the blueberries, all the fruit the ones were so chicken. good. We were just eating them right out of the package dry. Yeah. The blueberries are not sweetened at all, so they were. Uh, a little tart chicken. straight out of the package. I'm sure they'd be, they were good in that cobbler you made. Yeah. You should have brought me the cobbler on the show too. Um, it looks and it it looks like cereal. Deborah wants to know if you were in Pennsylvania while you were on the trip. I was, and I really liked Pennsylvania. It was pretty. You can and Turret says water. this week it's How bicycle much? VM in Norway. Mm -hmm. Two of those. And she says in her town, in the U.S. it's there too. Where which town is it you're in in Norway, Turret? So actually, there was somebody else from Norway. So we're getting quite a lot. I of think we should move friends to Norway. Norway. Um, who was it that was in Norway? I found somebody else that was new to us. Uh, Heidi. We're, we're getting quite a few Norwegian hmm. friends. So, wow. Anyway, let's see what else Two we have here. Two people from Norway. Uh, yeah, I'm wondering if the weather is really that bad. I don't know. Thing about the, uh, I think the thing about the weather is it depends on what you're used to. Like we were in Idaho and it wasn't, we didn't find that to be bad, but there was a lot of snow there and it was, although we were 20 years younger. <laughs> so we would have to have a snowblower for sure. Ramona thinks my, my, so we were having a problem with the temperature on our refrigerator and I wonder if the barbecue sauce got frozen. Whoa, that mm. actually tastes delicious. I'm sorry, Do Angela. you like it? Man, I'm gonna eat this for dinner. <laughs> here are the biscuits, Susan. Right here, right here. Oh, and I, I sent your letter on to mom, so she should be getting it. Mom, you should be getting a letter oh, oh, man. tomorrow or the next day. Oh, you add salt and the world just changed. Mmm, yum. Oh, that is good. Uh, yum. Mom, you're right, the world needs let's more see. salt. Does it say used before or best before? Well, September 11th, yeah, but still. Oh, you mean on the... two days. On the... So I'm getting mm -hmm. confused between the Thrive and that other stuff. Yeah. Uh, Joanne wanted to know if you got apples. She said that would be good. Uh, oh, man, delicious. Someone on YouTube is having trouble ordering. Ordering which thing? I guess I need to go see. Uh-oh. Is it our website? Uh-oh. Shouldn't what be... Doing? Well, there shouldn't be a problem with the website. I tested it. Open a family retreat in Ireland. Yes, Shannon, I would love that. Are you in Ireland? <laughs> uh, let's see. Yes. I, I just, after visiting Ireland, I'm so in love. I don't want to ever go anywhere else. I just want to go there. <laughs> okay, well, it might be nice to go to a few other places. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we... so, Allison, they say <laughs> that this is 25 oh, years. Amy so. says she thought we were coming to Australia to be her neighbors. Oh, man, we're going to have to... So here's what we, what we need do. is enough money to have a vacation home. In no, <laughs> every year we go to a different place. So we'll spend a year in Ireland and then a year in New Zealand and we'll vlog that it all. It's heaven. You love it? They have to buy that. that Mrs. Mabe says we don't worry about terrorists because that's what they want. They're out to scare people. Yeah, that's the, true. Yeah. The thing is, we love London and Ellie and I loved riding on the tube. And when this thing happened, I was thinking how discouraging that is. And I got to, so I happened to look online to think, you know, even if, even if it, a lot of people had died, which would have been terrible, how many people ride on the tube every day? So I looked and it said 5 million people ride every day. So I was thinking, you know, that would be terrible if you were, or if you or a family member were on that train when that happened and died or was seriously injured. But I was thinking, we can't be afraid to live life. Really, the statistic on how many that would... So, Bees. can anyone guess who's the optimist and who's the pessimist <laughs> in our family? Just wondering if you could tell. <laughs> yeah. That's the mega optimist, Mom. Is. Well. Mom is a gigantic You are pessimist. right. You're right. Well, and you know, uh, we were, well, we weren't on that spot on that line anyway, but, but you know, 
never know when when is your time, so can't worry too much about that. Let's see. The question is, do you know Jesus? Yeah, Are you ready to go? That's why I'm not worried about that. <laughs> uh, Are see. you ready to go? Diana, that's the question. Diana says, yes, you can figure out Weight Watchers points from that. So, uh, oh, Kathy, that's odd. I might, can you Facebook me a message on that? Uh, is that the same fail to match on our website? Uh, that should be strange because I thought I disabled the CAPTCHA. Okay, sorry, um, send me a message or I'll try to, I assume this is the same Kathy Matthews that I know. We so, had a major, we had to redo a major thing on our website for security and so we had to switch our whole site to be secure. The kinks may not have been worked out yet. K. Roma so. says, I love Ireland too. Yeah, we should have a meetup in Ireland. That would be awesome. The uh, whispering taste tester. Yes, Jack is the whispering, the whispering taste, taste tester. <laughs> That's a good one, Susie. If Donna loves Ireland uh, too. Yes. Oh, Sherry loves our cookbook. I'm so glad you love it. Uh, um, oh, that's Bandana saying about breaking down in New Jersey. Oh, oh man. Flap, flapping, that's even worse. Okay, so I have to say on our trip, I have never seen so many blown tires on the road as when we were in Kentucky and Virgin, was it Virginia? I think it was, I can't remember, it was two states, Kentucky and Virginia. Apparently they don't believe in cleaning up their streets there. Hmm. It was crazy. Sheriff from Two Family Homes says, oh, the raspberries are very tart, but oh, so addicting on the Thrive. Are they? I haven't tried the raspberries yet. Oh, yeah. If you guys heard about the Thrive and you're curious about it, where is that link? I'll share a link so you can check so it out. So on the Thrive, they have a thing where you can join the queue. And what it is, is it's nothing freaky. All it is, is it's a subscription for your food. So you can do like $100 worth of groceries a month and have uh -huh. it delivered at your door. If you guys saw my Walmart delivery, I am all for delivering at the door. I order everything, Amazon, all that kind of stuff. I hardly ever go to the grocery store anymore <laughs> because I get it off of Amazon or I have it delivered. Um, so you can join that and you can have it delivered at your door or you can do a one-time fee. So the queue is like a subscription where every month you just say how much you want to spend, if it's $50 or $100 or $200, however much you want to spend. And then if you don't want to do a subscription, then you can do it for um, a one-time order also. <laughs> Bumblebee so. says, everybody love handsome Jack, smartest kid ever. <laughs> Actually, He gets his smarts from his mom. Probably he gets, sure he probably gets a double dose of smarts. <laughs> um, let's see. Poor right guy. Now he gets it I didn't me. know Miss, wow. Miss May P says, I'm so pleased with my cookbook, Dara May from Oxford, England. I knew she was in England, Yay! right? Yay! I'm so glad you like it. Yeah. Um, yay, yay. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Jack is always asking how things work, and he comes up with the questions that are... He comes up with questions that none of the others have ever come up with, and I thought we heard all the questions by now. Oh, man, guys, we still have another week of heat here. I am so ready for... 60 degrees. It's not supposed to be 60 degrees for another week, but hey, I it was really, 60 that one day. I really want winter to come. It was 60 on Saturday, remember? So, all Let's right. See. Well, did we get them all? Ooh, Rory says first time watching you guys. Hello, live from San, from or hello from SF, I think hello. San Francisco. Let's see. Are the cans metal? Heavy making um, shipping fee. They are metal, but I think they're actually like I oh. don't know. The well, cans... they're metal, but they're really light. Yeah, it's lightweight. Maybe they're aluminum. I, I don't know. I thought they were that cardboard stuff, but they look like they're metal. Well, they are Let's metal. Let's see. It doesn't say. I don't know, but I do. So I do. Let me say I ordered $57 worth of product to see how much the shipping would be. And it was $8. But um, I think if you order $100, it's free. I'm not positive on that. Um, I'd have to look it up. I don't know if that's because I'm a consultant or if that's for everybody, but. So you want me to go in on the, I don't know anything about this link and see what happens? Oh, I'm on your computer though, that wouldn't help. Um, let's, let's see, somebody said something over here. Oh, Julie asked, how are they packed? Just in a regular box. Oh yeah, yeah. Roy's. it's hard to be frugal in a place like the Bay Area, yeah. Everything's really expensive yeah. there. Well, it's all relative. 
It is. But, you know, like I said, I think this would be, I think of this as more of a convenience food more than money saving. I think of it money saving in the sense that we're not going to go out to eat if I have Actually, this around. If you bought this in a place where it was really expensive, like the Bay Area, would it possibly definitely. be not as yeah. expensive as the yeah. food Yeah, if there? you lived in a really expensive place, this would definitely, yeah. So... Uh, You're welcome, Barb. I'm glad you like the extra soap. Oh, man. Amy says, got an apartment. Thankfully, husband's work is paying for it. Thank God we're getting our how our flooded house fixed here in Texas by Houston. Wow. Did save my dining room. <laughs> <I'm good for laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Amy. I hope it's a blessing. Wow. You. Sorry about your house, but I'm glad you have a place to stay now. Yeah, no kidding. Oh. Man, that would be horrible. I don't know how you guys are handling doing it. I can't imagine. We had floods, but it wasn't like hurricane floods. I mean, wow. Uh, you don't have a lot of... Oh, oh, Bergen. That's where Tour lives. We're going to have to look that up. <laughs> she showed Dude. me a picture of her. She showed me a video of her town one time. Wow. Nice. What? Uh, oh, Danielle said my son just turned four months on the 13th. Had to get six shots. Poor guy. Ah. Oh. Oh. Oh, I remember doing that. They they mixed up David and Jack's shots one year. I was not happy. Well, yeah. I think that we've mostly hit... Oh, like okay. We have, we have a garden in Missouri. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Wrong one. Okay. Yay, Bandana <laughs> said they love the card and the soap. Yay. <laughs> Uh, what did you get for $57? Oh, that maybe that's not asking um, you. Um, candy, what did I order? I can't remember now. I ordered some peppers. Now, I got the big cans um, of peppers and onion. No, peppers. I can't remember what I got now. Um, the shredded beef, peppers, and a couple of other things. I can't remember now. I'm sorry. My brain, I, I ironed, mom will be proud of me, I ironed 15 aprons today. Wow. That's why when you came home and said I wanted some button down shirts, I was like, they'll have to be wrinkle free. <laughs> Anybody know where to get some good wrinkle free shirts for men? He, he says he doesn't feel, he feels disheveled if he doesn't wear his I've always liked these kind shirts. of shirts, but Tara told me at one point I couldn't wear them anymore because she didn't want to have to iron. <laughs> I'm but sorry. I feel like in those golf shirts, I feel kind of frumpy. <laughs> so where can I get some cheap, wrinkle-free men's shirts? Our thrift store. This one I got two bucks at the thrift store. Okay, but our so, thrift store doesn't have them very often. So I need to say something to the people out there who are talking about loving Ireland. Shannon says, unfortunately, I'm not from Ireland, but I'm part Irish. You know, when we were over there, we when we were out in the country especially, people would ask us first thing, like, "Are you? do you have any Irish? And if you have, if you could... If you could cite some relative five times removed, they would just love you to death. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty cool. Doesn't everybody have some Irish in them? I would think they would. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I think a lot of people do. It's like everybody's got, I don't know. Uh, let's see. I guess it looks... Uh, oh, Kotea is asking, did you make the onion cheese bread? Yes. So we right have... here. And then I made it into muffins. So she had made one batch earlier as the bread, and then she made one as biscuits just to... Yep. Make it easier, so. Um, All right. Well, um, oh, yes. the freeze drying keep the nutrients. It does, and that's what I like about the freeze drying too is that it keeps the nutrients in there. Which, actually, people don't realize this, but frozen food is actually better than fresh because by the time you get it to the store, a lot of the nutrients are gone or they're not ripened. The freeze dried, it's vine ripened. They freeze dry it right away. So it keeps all the nutrients, and that's another thing that I like, so. Noah's Ark 1962 says, I have Scottish. I have to tell you, we were in Ireland and everybody was so friendly. We went to Scotland, and they have to be the friendliest people on earth in Scotland. Maybe we should go to Scotland. It was amazing. Uh, bandana, my mother-in-law taught my husband to iron his clothes. I never tried to break him of that habit. Good job, Bandana, good Amy job. Amy says, can you hang him in the bathroom while everyone showers and the steam helps drop the wrinkles? When I was single, that's all I ever did. I would take him out of the dryer. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'd take them out of the dryer before they were all the way dry, and if they were still wrinkly, I would take a shower while it was in there. Oh, Bubble Bee says I'm a good wife and mother. Yes, you are. Well, thank you. <laughs> I was feeling like a failure this weekend. Yes, Colleen, they would probably adopt you with an Irish name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you're Michael. That's Irish, isn't it? Uh, oh, she says she has an Irish name. Oh, she does. Oh, yeah. okay. 
All right, guys. Actually, speaking of Irish names. I, or not. I thought it was funny. We kept seeing billboards for mortgages and... And it was saying, uh, Mick and Katie are trying to buy their first house. And I was thinking, I, I just don't see those as being names they would put on a billboard in America. <laughs> no, they wouldn't. That was kind of fun. Anyway, okay, cool. I guess we better go. Mike's going to have to stop talking. <laughs> but I hope you guys all have an awesome night. Wait a minute, what was that about Irish? Joanne, do you get a commission if we order Thrive Online? Yes. yes we do. Okay, so that's my disclaimer. We do get a commission with this. But I would not be selling it if I didn't like it. So we do get a commission. It's going to help us keep these shows going because guys, this is our whole income. Mike does not have another job. <laughs> this is his job. It he takes works, a lot of time. He works 40 to 60 hours a week on this job. And so this is one of the ways that we earn money by selling our books and selling the products. So yes. But we took a long time to evaluate it because yeah. we absolutely don't want to be recommending anything that we don't like. I've had these two or three months that we've been going back and forth trying to decide. So I'm still talks about um, Oh, Connie, what was the idea for campground? I'm still not going to tell it in case we decide to do it, but it was really cool. And every person I've told, they're like, oh, that'd be so cool. Bandana Grandma thought it was the coolest thing ever. Actually, but, it would be a lot of fun. Can we do that in, in Wisconsin? <laughs> yeah. It would be a perfect place to do that, probably. Would anybody come to see us if we did a campground? I think we should just get 10 acres and just have a few tiny homes and just rent them out like Airbnb or just rent them out our things. Then I could do soap classes. Yeah. Mom could do quilting classes. You could do how to be good husband classes. Dave could do popcorn. <laughs> oh, good husband classes? <gasps> Thank you. If we Are had you a lake, I'm a good husband? if we had a lake, you could take all the guys fishing. <laughs> you don't fish, but they could teach you how to fish. I'd have to go out there. I'd just be able to take them out there, and then they could try to fish. Cheryl, where are you getting the information for Oops. Wisconsin? I've lived here all my life and it's not that bad. I don't know. Well, what? I don't know what to think because we have people on one side that are just like, the heat and humidity are horrible. The wind, snow and winters are just horrible. It's gray. The snow never leaves. You have 15 feet of snow. It's horrible. And then we have other people like you who are like, well, this really isn't that bad. So you should call it. You should email us and tell us like where you are and what your experience yeah. is because we we Where lived in Idaho, at? and there was a lot of snow, and it was colder than Colorado, but we loved it. Yeah, I really, really loved, loved it. But it was dry. It wasn't humid. But less like dry. Wisconsin. Well, less dry would be good in some ways for us, like yeah, because green things would actually grow. <laughs> yeah, anyway. I don't know. There's a part of me that's like we're just packing up and going, but then there's another part of me, and part of the problem we're having is I did talk to Big Family today, and they cannot get good enough internet to do live shows. Well, this is our income. Mike does all the behind the scenes work, but for three hours a week, I do this, or sometimes five if I do the soap shows, but this is how we make our money, so we have to have good to internet, you should, you should. So but we, I don't want to live in the city. I want to so live We can out. pretty much go anywhere we want in the world as long as we can get good internet. Good internet. So. so if you guys know of a house in Wisconsin that has good internet that is a ranch single story house. I can't do two stories. I can't do stairs. And if possible, massive garage, please. And, <laughs> and we problem. would need someplace like a basement or a separate barn or building where we could put a studio and our office and everything. Um, I'd like to have a few acres, at least three, four or five, somewhere around there, minimum. I would like but, to have a garage if possible so me and Ellie can do parkour. Have a garage. <laughs> So anyway, Dave that's can what teach we're looking popcorn making classes. <laughs> Dave could do popcorn making classes. That yeah. would be good. That's a good one, Dave. All good right. Good job. All right, guys. We'll see you on Wednesday. I will make chicken salad on Wednesday. To but test, to test, the to chicken test chicken this, but to I'll make the yeah celery. to test the thrive with the celery. But um, I don't know what I'll make in dining on a dime. I'll make something. What should I make in Dining on a Dime? I hate to make promises because I never know. What I should know. I make? I don't know. I'll make something. Do you want to take requests? <laughs> yeah, I'll take requests. A house on the land. Yeah, a house on the land would be best if we could. Yeah. Yeah, we prefer a place with a house on the land, <clears throat> mainly because of the hookups and all that. It's kind of a pain. Well, I think Mike and I might get divorced if we had to build a house. We had to put in another septic system. <laughs>
<laughs> we do not work together remodeling very well. No. <clears throat> we work best when Tara says, can you go do this? And I say, okay. <laughs> we don't even work good doing that. Yeah, I think if you didn't come downstairs till it was done. <laughs> Six years later. <laughs> hey. I know, but who was forcing me to keep working when my torn foot was... <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I feel bad about that. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. He tore his tendon in his ankle, and I was like, well, it can't be that bad. Oh, and Bandana Grandma says, see you at Two Family Homestead live stream at 9 Eastern. So... Oh, yes. Two Families on at 9 Eastern tonight, so go check them out, guys. And Sharer says, whatever you make from Two Family Homestead, says whatever you make will be spectacular. Oh, thank you. Yes, Shannon, oh. I do make homemade lasagna, oh, so... That would... Be something Amy yummy. T. Actually, your house was really good, but they didn't have internet. So, yes. So we need to go visit all our friends in Australia and Norway and everywhere else we before do. we decide to move. So. I say we rent this house and just go to Australia for a year and then New Zealand for a year and then Ireland for a year. Can we just go to Ireland for three years? <laughs> yeah. So. That'd be fun. All right, all guys. Right. Bye. Thank you so much. Glad Have you were night. here. Have a good night. Thank you for joining us. Yes. And visit us at livingonadime.com. <laughs> Bye. You're dead.